Today we're turning the pages of our very own Doctors Magazine to give you tips and tools to change your body right now. And with me is Reader's Digest Editor-in-Chief, my good friend Liz Vaccarello. And Liz, yes, you are the author of two best-selling books about flattening your belly, yes, looking sleek in <laughs> bikini season because swimsuit season it's not just around the corner. For some of us, it's here. It's happening. So how are you going to look good for it? Well, we're going to share with you six foods to flatten your abs fast. And number one oh, is... Wow. We have this impressive tower of abs here. Um, and so behind door number be? one, apples. Apples. So apples, four to five grams of fiber. Fiber fills you up. Don't have to worry about those calories. And an interesting study actually looked, University of Iowa found that the apple peel itself increased muscle and healthy brown fat. Brown fat actually burns calories. So if you're gonna eat an apple, eat the whole thing. I love my apple. Number two. Door number two in the Tower of Abs, mushrooms. Ooh. Yeah, who'd have thought? Now, mushrooms are one of the only natural plant sources or fungus sources of vitamin D, which a lot of doctors are saying that we don't get enough of. And diets that are low in vitamin D um, can also contribute to belly fat. So mushrooms are an easy way to add a little belly slimming produce. How about greens. door number three? So Leafy greens are greens. absolutely great. When you're talking about flattening your abs, hey, Greens are great for a number of reasons. Number one, they're loaded with fiber. Number two, very, very few calories. Now, here's the deal though. There are certain greens, we've talked about on the show before, that maybe increase gas yeah. production, can increase bloating. Broccoli's one of them. Such a great food. Love broccoli, but if you're looking to just right during beach season, something like spinach or kale isn't gonna produce as much of that bloating yet you still get the great fiber and the great antioxidants. And you can often use them in the same recipes. So, all right, after that, we're gonna talk about door number four, quinoa. Oh, love quinoa. Quinoa is one of the only whole grains that's also a complete protein. Um, and so that fills you up, first of all, but it's also high in fiber, low in the glycemic index. Um, and people who study these things say that quinoa also, if you have a complex carbohydrate at dinner in particular, that you are likely to have a lower appetite. It increases the appetite lowering hormone leptin, so it can help slim you down. So I love that it's high in protein because that's number five on our list dun, of da, da. slim bellies. You want to eat some lean protein at every meal for a number of different reasons. These are obviously great sources. We've got chicken, salmon, eggs. What protein does is it helps you stay full longer. And protein itself, it takes your body's metabolism work to break it down and digest it. Some very lean proteins, your body may expend 30% of the calories just digesting it. Yeah. So protein in every meal. And number ah, six, I what see some mufas. I love my mufas. Mufas are monounsaturated fatty acids. Don't be, again, you, don't be scared you, of the name. You love your mufas. <laughs> I do love my mufas. Um, these are the healthy oils found in many plant foods. And mufas are fats. And it sounds a little counterintuitive, but you eat fats, a diet rich in these healthy fats, and it fights fat. And mufas are particularly relevant today because they have found to decrease belly fat in, in particular. Uh, the dangerous visceral belly fat that can be tucked in and around your organs, that dangerous fat. Good well. fat fights bad fat. Yep. 